Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's No Bull Beer Views. Today I have another beer from High Branch Brewing Company out of Concord, North Carolina. Um, this beer is called Pay Me in Jewels. Fix that a little bit. Um, I did notice that this is uh, this label is definitely a lot different than a lot of their other ones, where it, they're really clean, just has their logo, a little design, whatever. You know, this looks more like uh, a logo from the all of the fancy companies that people trade for. Um, but I, I like it. I like how the the name's really little and it just has all these jewels on it. Um, but what this is, it's a uh, sour session IPA with mango, passion fruit, and lactose, dry hopped with El Dorado, and it is 5.5 ABV. Um, I have not had this on tap or anything else yet, uh, and yeah, that's it. I haven't I haven't heard anything from anybody, so I'm pretty excited to open this up. Um, I am a huge High Branch fan, so I have uh, some pretty decent expectations for this. Especially, I also am a, a big, big uh, passion fruit guy, so we'll see what we got here. Um, I mean, it looks like it's unfiltered, but it's not super, super hazy. Nice golden color with a, a rocky, um, but fingers and a half worth of white head. I get like a little bit of a yogurty character. I'm assuming that's uh, you know something from the lactic acid from the souring process. It's almost like coming off as um, apple-y. not like uh, acetaldehyde, but just like um, regular apples. It almost has a little bit of like a, a hoppy bread funk to it which is weird because I'm I don't, doesn't say there's Brett in this and I'm assuming it's not but it almost has like that when when Brett comes in at least in my opinion when Brett comes in contact with hops it almost has like this just like funky citrusy hay character and I'm getting a little bit of that in this um I will say I'm not really getting any passion fruit and mango, or sorry, passion, yeah, passion fruit and mango, um, but I'm okay with that. I think it smells pretty nice, and I'm looking forward to taking a drink. Well, that's tasty. Uh, you know... I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't say on the can that it's in there, but I'm gonna have to ask TJ, the owner and brewer, if there's Brett in this because it it really has a Brett character, and it that's a that's a really good thing. I I like that. I honestly, if more breweries did like kettle sours, where it was only like fermented, I don't know, 0.01 or 0.02% with lactobacillus just to get the, the acidity. And then it was finished off with, um, with Brett and then added the hops and fruit. I feel like that would be a fantastic thing. And this kind of reminds me of something like that if, that if they did that. Mm, that is really good. Uh, it's kind of that, that's a good thing about whenever it's not too hoppy or too fruity. It's 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 hard to tell where the hops end and where the fruit begins. Um, but there is a really nice like lemon limey hop character, a little bit of acidity. <coughs> excuse me, and then it follows into like. This really nice over ripened pineapple 
um, grainy, bready, dry finish. Um, yeah, this is so good. I really want to know now. I, I have to ask TJ. I feel like there's got to be Brett in this. But if there's not, that's really interesting because I am getting a, a lot. I'm getting a good bit of funk if there's not bread in it. So I don't know. I guess lactobacillus could maybe produce a little bit of that. And it could be something from the fruit too. Um, the funny thing is though, I don't really get... Um, I don't really get mango or passion fruit. I, I get like a general tropical fruit flavor but I don't know that I would pick it out as passion fruit or mango I feel like to me it's more of a pineapple character and that seems to be more of an offshoot of a combination of like Brett and hops to me a lot of times when they're together have produce a, a pineapple flavor um It almost it does almost have like a dank hop character too. It's really interesting. This has a lot of depth to it. And the, the acidity is is perfect too because it's there to drive the flavors, but it's not like mouth puckering acidity at all, which is awesome. Um, yeah, I this is like a weird conglomerate of flavors and judging by the description it doesn't really taste like i was expecting it to taste like but i don't really care about that that much i just like the fl i just like it for what it tastes like i don't and i won't say the description is misleading because it's not that far off of what it is i mean i it still has a sour ipa quality like if someone just said this is a sour ipa with brett i would be like okay that that's what it is and i i believe that but it, I wouldn't necessarily say that I would get passion fruit or mango out of it. Um, but I'm, I'm assuming they're they're pretty light in this because passion fruit, when there's a lot of passion fruit in something, is a very strong flavor. It's very potent, very very tropical. And this is not um, super tropical, other than those pineapple notes. But it's just a really nice, slightly acidic. Um, hoppy grainy like brett beer that's what it comes off to me as and i i really want to know now if there's bread in this because i really think there is um i could be wrong but um i know they don't have any of this left so i'm not i can't give a recommendation for someone to go out and buy it uh, you might be able to trade for it there might be some people locally that still have this but this is a very delicious beer I would drink the hell out of this. I like the fact that it's only 5.5 ABV. Um, I mean, this beer is meant to be like a, a crusher, and it doesn't need to be strong. So I really like that that ABV. I would definitely buy this again. I I used to always say that my favorite now my favorite beers are probably like mixed culture saisons. But I used to always say my favorite beers were like low ABV hoppy kettle sours which is kind of a really narrow thing but when that is done well i do still love that but this is almost getting into that realm and i i really really like that so i would definitely definitely buy this again um another high quality beer from high branch no surprise they constantly make great beers um so yeah look out for this look out for other stuff from them they're a great brewery and if if you want to try some things from them, um, send me a message on YouTube and I'll gladly grab some and send them your way for sure. So, I think that's all I got in this one. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think and I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.